Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. This has kind of been, um, but I have a reason. I'm eating my, I just finished a little cardio. Rats. I didn't bring my, how do we say it? Les Mills DVDs out here. Um, I'm being so rude. So sorry. But I was really hungry. I had to have something. Les Mills Combat, which I have to tell you guys. Um, you all know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, um, you know that I am a massive fan of kickboxing. Anything to do with boxing, kickboxing, punching, kicking, hurting people <laughs> in a workout scenario, I like it. So I was, I have been waiting for this thing to come out for a while. And I will tell you, um, I've only done, I did the practice or like the introductory um, DVD, which is 30 minutes. And then there's, they call it power kata. I think that sounds funny when you say it, but it's 40 minutes or 43 minutes. And that's what I did this morning. So 373 calories. And as you can see, I've got the sweat thing going on. Um, so I, if you are interested in buying that, um, I love it. But you know, I mean, it's totally up my alley. I love Tybo. I love um, Ilaria's kickboxing. I've loved kickboxing for a long time. If you like, oh, I just bit my tongue. If you like punching, the, the cool thing about Les Mills is I think a lot of the other kickboxing things tend to focus only on like the lower, the, the actual the kicking part as, as opposed to the upper body part. And I'm going to stop because with my luck I'll choke. Um, which I did one time on a voicemail. I'll never forget that. I left a business voicemail for somebody and I got something caught in my throat. And so in the middle of my voicemail, I'm like, <coughs> and then I thought I would recover, but I didn't recover. And so I just kept choking and then finally I had to hang up and I'm like, what's his name? I think I still remember his name. He's up in Minnesota. Ron Peltier. Probably has saved that voicemail and someday will blackmail me, blackmail me with it. Anyway. Um, the reason that this is my first vlog, ooh, can you see that, glisten? Oh, so Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, I have to tell you guys, um, I've been starting to weigh myself every day this week, um, and let's see, I've lost two pounds already this week. Um, it was interesting because Sunday morning when I weighed myself, I was, and I'm going to share all of this, I'm going to track every day, and I will show you exactly what my my tracking is just to get that one more step of feeling comfortable with all this. Um, and uh, Michael's coming over to take my pictures. We're going to take progress pictures every week. Um, we're tracking everything. And I'm not just tracking stuff in my fitness life. I'm tracking my finances too. I'm making a budget worksheet. I'm forcing myself to actually like balance my checkbook. Not that I have a checkbook, but you know what I'm saying. My checking account. Who really writes checks anymore? I think I write like two checks. But anyway. I have been one of those people that tends to be like, oh, it'll balance it all out. Uh, it'll all balance itself out, and then I go and I find out I've been been being charged fifty dollars a month by Verizon for something that I don't even own because I don't pay attention. So I'm all over paying attention. I just ate again when I said I wouldn't. Anyway, here's the deal. Um, so I've lost two pounds already. It's Thursday. Maybe I'll lose another half pound. We'll see. Um, I am kicking ass. I am so excited, I'm so proud of myself, I feel so great, but I will tell you this, not a good idea to eat this, I don't know if you can hear it, my coffee's brewing, Ugh, hold on, I know, I have someone reminding me to eat, yes sir, exclamation point, exclamation point, Didn't type it right. Anyway, uh, no worries. I'm sorry. I, this is my problem. I feel like I have to respond to everything right away. Okay. Anyway, so what I wanted to tell you about weighing myself was because you guys know, like my friend Sherry weighs herself all the time, and I'm like, Sherry, why do you weigh yourself all the time? 
you know, it's not about what's on the scale. Um, but, and yes, I usually use that voice in a text. But I was weighing myself because, yeah, I do have to track this. I want to track my measurements. I want to track my weight. I want to track how I look in the mirror, right? And once you get that position, like I told you guys, where you can look at your body like, okay, this really is, I'm creating my own scientific equation for myself. Um, stop doing what I did, which is, oh, you know, Sherry did insanity and a low carb diet plan and she's down to 120 or whatever. I'm just throwing something out there. You can't look at what works for somebody else and assume that the same exact meal plan or practice is gonna work for you. You have to figure out what's best for you and a lot of that, it kinda sucks, but a lot of that is trial and error. So you've got to, you know, what have I not done for two years? First of all, consistency, obviously. Um, second of all, like I told you towards the end of this year, I, it was painfully clear how much I have not been um, taking care of myself and feeding myself. And some of you that are new to this, you might go, if you don't eat, wouldn't you be losing weight? No, that's not the case always. Um, many people can just not eat for a while and lose weight, but that's not the good way to lose weight. That's when you get skinny fat. And furthermore, if you're somebody that's working out in any manner and then you're not eating, your body really, I'm not as good as explaining this as somebody maybe like Scott Herman or Mike Roussel or Todd, but um, the reason I said Scott, he, he was just texting me. Um, it, and he has a good video actually on, I'm going to put that video up. If you go to YouTube, Scott Herman has a really good video up on, you know, why you don't just eat one big meal. And he, he, he likens it to um, firewood in a, in a fireplace. Like if you put one big log on the fire, how long does it take um, to burn that big, huge log? Whereas if you, put, if you put lots of little pieces of kindling in there, it'll burn it right up because it's smaller. Those, that's kind of like the theory behind the smaller meals. Help me to understand it. Um, but all that said, I am, you know, tracking everything and paying attention to here's, so each week I know here's what I'm eating this week and here's what happened on the scale this week, here's what happened in the mirror this week, whatever. And then it, it almost becomes a little bit less personal because you can look at yourself like this is really cool, this is what my body likes. Uh, my body responds to more protein, my body responds to less carbs, my body responds to running better or oh wow, now that I've added four days of weights, look how much faster I'm seeing results or whatever. But what's interesting about the weight is I mesh, I weighed myself, I get off, I wake up in the morning, take off all my clothes and I weigh myself. And um, so Sunday morning I was X pounds and then Monday I was 0.6 or 0.8 pounds. I don't know if I was a pound up or a half a pound up. I might've been a, a pound up. And I was like, what the heck? You know, I'm eating right, of course you know me, that was my thing. I'm upset, I'm freaking out, blah, blah, blah. And of course, you know, I texted Sherry and I, te I pretty much texted everybody and um, got over it. And then from that day on, the scale has gone down, 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 down every bit. Now, do I think, am I, I'm not deluding myself. I have no, I have no doubt that when on flow comes around, the scale will go to up a little bit when it goes, that there will be variations. But because you're tracking it every day, then you can, and because you have a historic, baseline to look at, then you can go, oh, well, it looks like, you know, I mean, every, every month, ladies, when odd flow comes around, maybe you know that you gain three pounds on the scale, but then it disappears the next week because that's the kind of stuff that can happen. Um, anyway, I'm already at eight minutes, but I did want to tell you a couple things. Um, why I haven't vlogged this week. You all know that I got in December, I finally um, invested in all new technology. I have a brand new, beautiful Dell XPS all-in-one 27-inch monitor. It's just this thing of beauty. Um, I ordered a completely wireless headset system for my um, home office phones. I ordered a new Bluetooth for my new iPhone. Um, just kind of got a whole bunch of stuff. Huge vision board. A lot of you have written me and asked me to show you my new vision board, and I will. I would do it today, but I, I can't take the camera in there until I know I don't have any like confidential client information out. So I will do that when I plan it, and I will show you my huge ass vision board because it's freaking awesome, um, and it's great to sit there when I'm you know working and stare at it and be like, okay. Um, so I have all that stuff, and then I I took my old PC desktop PC. And I, I wanted to really quickly um, 
I guess I was just thinking, okay, I'll, anything that I need, any files that are still on here, and because I knew it was on, my, on its last legs, I put a lot of my files on an external hard drive, okay? External hard drives were a little, a little bit more <laughs> chic or used probably three or four years ago. Now everything you just put in the cloud, put in Dropbox, whatever. And sometimes I just can be a creature of habit, so it was just easier for me to just quickly put things on my external hard drive. I had this huge external hard drive. <sighs> so I get, I clean up my old PC, shut it down, put it away. The new PC was set up in like 30 seconds. It was awesome. I go to plug in the um, external hard drive into the USB port and it's like Windows 8 is not recognizing it. So all of my stuff that I needed to access for work was on this external hard drive that would, would not be recognized by my new PC. So pretty much most of Sunday and Monday, um, and then today is Thursday, I have a call coming up. I spent having to reset up my old computer, take out all of the stuff, set it up again, Re take all the stuff from the um, from my external hard drive, move it into the cloud, and and use. I was using Dropbox, and then Dropbox would get filled because I only had like 20 gigs on there. I have a lot of information, a lot of video, a lot of pictures. It took forever. So suffice it to say, like really, Monday and Tuesday were out. Um, yesterday I was finally functional, and then uh, I had appointments in the afternoon. And I had a kick-ass workout last night, yesterday evening. By the time I came home, I was literally just so fatigued. That's, that's the only way I could describe it. I was utterly fatigued that I think I went to bed at like 9.30. Um, and I slept in this morning until 8.30. So I'm getting a late start today, which is why I'm eating kind of my breakfast right before my call. Anyway, all that to say, oh, I really want to show you what's on this counter. That might be a different vlog because I'm kind of stocked up for the entire first three months of the year from GNC. We have our physio burn. I'm going to start taking these again. I had stopped taking them because I was getting, um, not a stomach ache, but I was getting, it was, they were making me nauseated because I was taking them on an empty stomach before my run. But I'm going to read the directions again and see because I really want to take the trifecta. I want to take all three of the um, Genetics HD. So there's three components. There's the ProSculpt, which I take every morning. This is a drink. And then I take the pills, which are a pack. I take one after breakfast, one at lunch or at dinner. Um, and then these, I have to look these up again for when I'm supposed to take these. Um, we have our, you see that? Zinc, that's right before bed. Chia! <sighs> My shoulders are still hurting from yesterday. Um, I tried this new flavor yesterday. Holy crap. Very subtle, but nice. I've been really boring. Ooh, I might use that to make my zucchini protein bread. I also got some of this. This is one of my old favorites. I guess see how many carbs are in here. One serving has 150 calories, 21 grams. This is higher carbs. Whatever. We'll deal with it. I, I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. I love this stuff. It's before weight training. Um, and then, I don't know if I told you guys this. Kind folks at Lifeline sent me this. <laughs> Which, okay, I'm just going to say it. Can you see this? It's like, um, see? You might have heard of another company that has a T and an X in it. But this does too. <laughs> And uh, they were like, Kelly, we need to send you the best system. So they sent that to me, and I think it's really cool. You should also check out their site, lifelineusa.com, because they have a ton of stuff that is basically a portable gym on the road. I really need to shut up because I, I got to get going, get cleaned up. I have an appointment. It's a phone appointment. Don't worry. I have an appointment at 11, um, and it's 1030. I told you I'm getting a late start today. But sometimes people, wow, look at that hair. There's a lot going on back there. Um, sometimes people, seriously, um, I also got my eyebrows done yesterday at Lifetime Fitness. I'm not going to Marge Cosi anymore since they burned my face off. Um, anyway, 
if you're really, really exhausted and you, whatever it is, if you have stuff to do or maybe you had a um, yoga that you were going to go to that night or whatever, listen to your body. Last night, I'm telling you, I felt like I was coming down with a cold. I felt so gross. So, I mean, I was just literally like drained. I don't know if it was the cumulative effect of the workouts, the stress of the computer that week, whatever, but I was totally, utterly exhausted. And I just, I didn't even have the energy to come out here and watch TV. Like I got in, I took a bath around six, seven o'clock, six thirty, seven o'clock. And I'm like, I'm going to bed. Sometimes listen to your body, because let me tell you, after getting, so I went to bed at 930. I was up in the middle of the night for some reason couldn't sleep um, and then I went back to bed but I slept into like 8 30 and sometimes just one good night of sleep I don't know about you guys if I'm starting to feel like I'm getting sick one good night of sleep can totally turn the ship around so wow I burned a lot of calories just talking to you guys what was I at 367 I just burned 75 calories doing a vlog you know I don't take that seriously um, anyway I gotta go oh and look at my cute little GNC shaker mug Shaker mug, because I was really, like, the, as much as I'm using shaker mugs for, like, one I use for, um, I put my glutamine and my branched chain amino acids in, I shake that up, and then I have one for, because you don't want to mix up all the colors. Sometimes I'm, I'm a nerd that actually likes the colors to look good. One for Super Pump, one for Genetics HD, so I like a lot of shaker cups. Um, I'm also stocked up on my vitamins, my probiotics, um, and I think that's it. So... I gotta go finish eating, have my coffee, do my call, get in another, uh, I'm eating my meals on track. I'm totally on track. <gasps> and I'm gonna do another video probably tomorrow about a new service I'm trying out that I love, 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 that I think a lot of you guys will love. Um, it's called diet to go um, If you want, you can look up their website in the meantime, you can see. Uh, but I'm testing out their low carb diet plan, which is basically, I'll give you a preview, it's meals delivered, um, real food delivered that you can heat up I have to go in the microwave two to three minutes um, they have low carb vegetarian and I think maybe like a low calorie plan they have three different plans but I you guys know like what's the number one thing I've been complaining about for the past three months my challenge with continually getting to the grocery store and prepping food so I think it's a very cool thing and I'll t I'll go into detail about the different types of meals and the pictures and I'll show you some of them and we'll talk about that tomorrow but I have to go so I will see you guys tomorrow have a great day and um, that's it let's just keep kicking butt